scientists are going to bring back the aurochs. Okay, they've oh, been oh they've been extinct for four hundred years. They're these massive beasts. They're uh, <laughs> you beast. <laughs> they're usually about two thousand two hundred pounds. Anyway, whatever. They're going to mate two animals that kind of look like it and hopefully <laughs> create it. <laughs> Can you tell what I'm excited about this story and Anna is it? I don't know, they're gonna make the two animals. They're gonna bring back the aurochs, these massive <laughs> beasts. Okay. No, right, no, 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 no. It's crazy. It's cool. It's because we have their DNA from uh, bone material, and um, basically, what scientists are gonna do, they're gonna create a rough map of its genome, and that should allow them to breed animals nearly identical. All right. So look. Um, first off, these animals became extinct just about 400 years ago. Last one died in Poland in 1627. So that's kind of interesting because not, they're not long extinct. They're not like dinosaurs that nobody ever saw. Right. Julius Caesar used to write about the uh, aurochs, right? Mm -hmm. And they're these giant fucking cattle, okay? Yeah. And they're like six and a half feet tall, uh, how, like 2,200 pounds, and apparently they're unruly. And back in the day, like, you proved yourself to be a badass if you can kill an auroch. Yeah. All right, and then they take the horns of the male aurochs and they uh, cast them in silver and they use them as drinking cups. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, I don't know, but that made me think that's the Vikings. That, that's what, you know, you always see the Vikings with those drinking out of the things that look like the horns and they got the horns on their sides. They must have been killing aurochs left and right mm -hmm. to prove themselves, which is super badass, right? So the other part of this story that's super interesting is I mean, so they're going to put it in a really large cattle mm -hmm. and once they fix the genome. In Italy and in Britain, there's the closest relatives they have, right? Mm -hmm. If it pops out, they say it's not perfect, right? But it's going to be in the ballpark. The aurochs are back. Mm -hmm. I can't see how you don't think that's phenomenally no, cool. No, I think it's really cool. Yeah. yeah. And it's funny because just this weekend with my guy friends, we were talking about how, oh, no, no, it's, it's over. They're going to be able to do Jurassic Park. It's just a matter of time. Okay. I hope not. That's really scary. Okay. <laughs> that movie was scary. I don't want to be caught on that island. Okay. No, but no. Think about it. Our kids could go to a zoo with a T Rex. Can you fucking imagine? No, I can't. But well, it's possible. Look, I. I by don't... the way, no, no. My bad. Not our kids. Our grandkids. Right. Okay. Maybe. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, it takes a couple of elements. One is the science, and we're not there yet, and mm -hmm. you've got to work on that, work on it. It takes a long time. And it's not guaranteed. It doesn't mean it's definitely going to happen. Uh, and you've got to find DNA that's in good enough shape. And for some species, they will. Some species, they won't, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But we're on that road, man. There's no question we're on that road. And that road starts with the aurochs. Yes. Did you guys give the size of them? You, you said they were big, but did you have about the size? Yeah, yeah six foot five. Uh, 2,200 pounds. They're they? huge. Look, this is my only issue with it. Like, I think it's cool that we're at one point going to be able to bring back animals that are extinct. But I feel like with some animals, they were extinct for a reason. <laughs> right? So, like, why do, we, why do we care so much about bringing the auroch back? <laughs> I think we're doing fine without the auroch. No, by the way, they went out of... They went, became extinct largely because they were so valuable that we hunted them to death. Right. So maybe that's not such a bad thing. You know what I thought during the middle of the article is, I thought, oh, here we go. The agricultural companies are going to love this. Mm -hmm. Giant cattle that they can get more meat from, maybe more milk from, mm -hmm. etc. And if they can make cash out of it, believe me, the aurochs coming back first. Okay, T-Rex, he can wait. Okay, we're going to come get the auroch first. Now, having said that, I told you they were unruly. Some one of the scientists said, "Yeah, good luck trying to milk an auroch. See how that works out for you." Yeah. <laughs> so, well, but you know what? You know the agriculture companies. They'll make a factory of aurochs and they'll chain their ass up. They'll be like, "Oh, we'll milk you. Trust me, we'll milk you." So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes me sad thinking about it. Maybe we shouldn't bring the, the poor sums of bitches back. You know, if that's what they're going to have to go We're through. We're going to bring them back to slaughter them. <laughs> yeah, well, being humans, we probably are. Okay, that story became depressing at the end. Yeah. <laughs>